what's going on? Boys, today we're talking a few topics, but first, thank you. I tend to shy away from overt, direct thank yous, because the last time I made one, I lost 10% of my subscribers. And I'm keener on big one milestones anyway, but for the last three months, we have averaged over a dollar per day in ad revenue without mid-roll ads, which are obnoxious, and over a dollar per day isn't a lot of money, but it is to me, because I didn't think we'd even reach this point ever, so thank you. Now, starting, letter dichotomies are useful. I don't recommend you use them to type people, but they do serve as good totems, as reminders of things about a type to keep in mind. The two most important being extroverted and introverted, and perceiving and judging. For example, if a type is a judging type, then that means one of their two lead functions is an extroverted judging function. Keeping this in mind is useful because it means even if a judging type appears to be inert, they will be inclined to put that extroverted judging function to use, even if it doesn't seem that way. And again, this doesn't mean specific behaviors. It means if a person is a judger, they are going to be using that judging function somehow. Example, let's compare an INFJ and an ISTP in the same situation. A social group has a large confrontation amongst themselves and everything gets screwed up. The ISTP is going to feel it and they might take action, but they won't be inclined to take action. It's not going to happen automatically. FE is their inferior function. Most ISTPs are going to watch what happens, but they're going to feel inclined to stay out of it. Assuming it isn't a falling out that is affecting them directly, just affecting people in their vicinity. The INFJ, on the other hand, is going to have a stronger, feel a stronger reaction to this confrontation, this falling out, and they're going to feel more inclined to take action. Again, this does not mean every INFJ is going to jump up and start screaming, but FE is their auxiliary function. They're going to drift toward doing something, whether they're thinking they're going to do anything or not. Whether that is quietly engineering situations to repair the group, or driving stakes even further, doesn't matter. Their type has a J. Something is going to happen soon if it isn't already happening. This goes for TE judgers too, especially INTJs and ISTJs. Just because they may be presenting as low-key and inert, don't assume they have nothing going on. There is TE activity going on, even if you don't see it, and it's probably happening all the time. Again, you're using that letter as a reminder. You're simplifying the concept of watching for judging functions at work down into a letter. Easy peasy. And you can and should do that for perceivers as well. If a type is a perceiver, that means one of their two leading functions is an extroverted perceiving function. And that's good to keep in mind, especially if that type is an any perceiver, because that means when they run into something, you never know exactly where their mind is going to take them. It's going to take them in a lot of places. The reason I emphasize judging functions, or J, is because a judging type's one of their first instincts is going to be to take action, or set up to take measured action. Sensing perceivers don't even do that. They might take action, but it won't be measured. Something to keep in mind. And then extroversion and introversion, E and I. If a type is an extrovert or extroverted, that means their dominant function is an extroverted function. That's worth keeping in mind because it's another 
metric, another easy reminder of how much of a delay you're working on with a type when something happens. In fact, keeping that in mind, I find extroverts easier to deal with, specifically because that delay is so short. They also tend to be less complicated up front in their actions and their decision making. If someone is trying to kill you, the reason they're trying to kill you might be important, but the fact that they are trying to kill you I think is a lot more important. Meaning, planning in the short term around someone who is an extrovert, an E, extroverted function leading is easier to plan with and around in the short term. Very basically, if an extroverted person runs into something, you know they are going to do something, maybe not instantly, but in very short order. Something is going to happen. NE leads are a little bit different, but again, you'd be surprised how quickly an NE lead will shoot from the hip compared to an NE auxiliary. The other thing to keep in mind with extroverts is if they're leading with an extroverted function, that means their inferior function is an introverted function. That means while you can figure them out generally and plan around them generally in the short term, they have shit cooking inside them in their noggins and their hearts you're going to need to pay attention to and probably care for long term. Because if you don't, if you aren't paying attention, if you aren't taking an active role in supporting or resisting an extrovert, that trebuchet of an extroverted function they lead with, that they are, is going to reposition at some point and start throwing rocks where you weren't expecting any rocks. You can save yourself time and brain space by simplifying all these verbal paragraphs into a single nonverbal letter of understanding. It makes things easier. Same thing with introverts, but a little different. You need to keep tabs on them. I means keeping an eye on them. You might know someone leads with an introverted function, but you aren't going to see it. What you are going to see is that introverted function's directives or conclusions played out in their extroverted functions. Meaning, compared with extroverts, with introverts you need to be more proactive in the short term. If you can figure out where their head is, you can figure out what sort of activity is coming and where you're going to see it, of what sort it is. You need to keep up with them if you don't want to get blindsided. Where an extrovert will act immediately or close to immediately, an introvert, their reactions to situations might not show up for some time. They will show up, but that delay is much longer, meaning you need to keep a closer eye on it. Nothing is better than the ISTP time bomb. When an ISTP, after months, finally goes nuclear and nobody knows where it came from because they mask it very well. But all anyone had to do was ask and they would have seen it coming from a mile away. And while we're here, I have noticed NI types in general tend to be better at masking their affect for some reason. Like with INFJs, for instance. It's either everything or nothing. What you're seeing, anyway. ISTPs are very similar. INFJs and ISTPs are strikingly similar. At least externally. Now, the interior letters, N and S, intuitive and sensor, and T and F, thinking and feeling are important, but in my opinion, they aren't vital. Slash, they aren't as easy to create little reminders using. We use introversion and extroversion and perceiving and judging to calculate roughly your delay between something happening 
and that type's taking action of some sort. An INFP and an INTP are going to have very similar action delays. It doesn't matter that one type is leading with a feeling function and the other is leading with a thinking function. I mean, it does in the sense what they're going to do will be different, but it doesn't matter as much in the sense of determining when something is going to happen. It doesn't change the fact you need to keep up with them. I hope that makes sense. And the reason letter dichotomies, while they are important, they are still important, they're less important in this field is you do need to pay more conscious attention to them if you want to get anything out of them. In other words, if you want to figure out what someone is going to do, you do need to be paying attention to whether or not they're an intuitive or a sensor, and a thinker or a feeler. You need to pay close attention to whether or not that judging function is an introverted or an extroverted function, where it is, and the same with the perceiving functions. It's more work. You can't, you can't simplify those down if you want to calculate types of action. So, simplifying all this down, if a type is an extrovert, things happen quickly and you are probably going to know about them. You don't need to stay investigating an extrovert at all times. With introverts, you do, because while things might not happen immediately, if you are not keeping up with them, that action might feel immediate because you didn't know something happened at all. Get their mouths moving whenever you can. If a type is a judger, something is always going on. Even if it's low frequency and you can't see it apparently, the gears are always turning. Or rather, something is always happening. If a type is a perceiver, their brains are going to be working, they're going to be milling around, but there isn't necessarily always some form of blunted action at work. With an EJ, you probably know what's going on. With an IP, you probably don't know what's going on. With an IJ, you know something is going on. With an EP, you are always at risk of something going on. And that about covers it, I think. We were going to discuss the hyper-common mistypes in this video, but we'll save that for another time. But that about rippity wraps this one up. I hope you enjoyed watching, because I certainly enjoyed making it. Oh, I'm tired. Like if you enjoyed, because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, because we do this shit sometimes, and comment your thoughts, because I love hearing from you. What do you think about letter dichotomies? Do you have any interesting ways of using them? Thank you again for watching our video. Really, we had a lot of fun on this channel. So much fun. In fact, you can put it at the head of your bed and rest your head on it and drift to sleep. Because sleep is a lot of fun. And that's so much we have on this channel. And I look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future.